Hello and welcome to another Modern Toy Fair review. Today I'm taking a look at the fresh monkey fiction Naughty or Nice Collection Cyborg Santa exclusive to Big Bad Toy Store. As always, let me know in the comments below if you've picked one of these Santa Claus figures up or if you're still on the fence. And of course, make sure to stay to the end of the video so that way you can see all the photos I took. But that's enough chitter chatter, let's go ahead and get at her. All right, let's take a look at how Santa turned out. So you have the hat here with the kind of like fuzzy white part and then the red all throughout there. It does come off so you can swap it trip between the heads. Let's see, he's got that nice fold, got a little white paint there. Uh, but overall, I really like the textures, kind of stands out. Out of the box, you do have the Terminator head on. You've got all of the awesome sculpt in the beard. You see his teeth got that chrome dome, you got the yellow and red eyes, got some scuffs on there, got the white hair, his uh, ear, which is still, got that flesh tone on it, you got the hair on the back here. Uh, as far as the suit itself, again, you've got that really cool kind of texture for the white fluffy parts that really offsets the kind of flat wrinkled parts for the red, which did a really great job. I mean, all throughout the suit, you've got tons of wrinkles and creases showing where it's like kind of tight. You do have this awesome belt, which is massive and even has like the little gold rings are painted in. No detail was uh, left out, that's for sure. And oh, the wrinkles going like where it's coming out from under the belt, down the pants, you also have tons of folds. And the boots are really, really well done because they also are almost like a different texture. Uh, now, Robo Santa does have different hands here. So we've got trigger finger hand, some great sculpt, and then just a gripping hand. Um, sadly, spoiler alert, you don't get more hands. Um, but I don't know if you can switch them out. I might try later. Uh, flipping around the back, again, more of that awesome wrinkle sculpt going through the coat and the pants and the boots. So I, I really, really like how this turned out. I, I'm happy that I pre-ordered these. On to articulation, so let's take the hat off to get it out of the way. Santa's head does twist all the way around the beard, however, it does put it up at an angle because of his collar. Do get a little bit of tilt uh, forward, back, and side to side. If you pop it off, you'll see no hinge, nothing, just a ball. So a little disappointing there because he doesn't get a whole lot of range of motion, but Santa, so I forgive him. Uh, arms go out to 90. Go all the way around. The elbows go to 90. A single jointed elbow there. It does have the twist. And then the trigger finger does go forward and down. Uh, and then the other hand goes the opposite direction like normal. Both twist all the way around. And let's get him spread out here. So he does have this cut here in the middle for his ab crunch. He does get a little bit of forward and back. So there's tons of back. You can kind of fight with him, get a little more forward. And then you can get a bunch of this side to side motion. So your Santa can do some decent yoga poses. Legs do go out almost to 90. Oh man, you could do a full split there. Uh, a nice thing is it does have this cut in the coat so he doesn't get in the way. And goes forward to about almost 90. And then back a little bit further. You do have a thigh cut under there. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. But yeah, the twist there. And then the knees are single jointed. If I can get it to go, they're a little stiff. There we go. And then they also have the rotation at the knee. And of course, the ankle pivot forward, back, side to side, all that fun stuff. So you can definitely get Santa into a bunch of different poses, especially if you have Cyborg Santa. Time for some accessories. So you do have this alternate head, which has the like half skinned face, which I really kind of like the way this looks. I do kind of wish we got one that was full skin. So you just had the red eyes, but it's pretty cool. And then we do have the naughty or nice list, which looks like it's on some nice old timey paper. Got the kind of more tannish look to it. There you go. Some great sculpt work. And we have presents. Well, a present to be exact. 
Uh, this one is just red and green. I do wish the Santas each came with a different color. That would have got me pretty badly. And of course, since he's Terminator Santa, he has to have a shotgun, which has some really good detail on it. Even has a little hole in front, so that way if you want to add some uh, blast effects. Uh, as far as fitting in his hand, though, it is a loose fit. Um, so you can see it goes in, but it wiggles around like it's not in there perfect. But if you shake it, it doesn't fall out, so I guess that's fine. I, I'm not sure. I'm very torn. Uh, and then you have the naughty or nice stand with that nice snow white with the two pegs. Quick size comparison. So here we have Santa with the, let me get them straight up, Mofex Symbiote Suit Spidey and the Mofex Custom Hush uh, Rebirth Batman. Both are a little bit shorter because Mofex does scale shorter and he seems to be more Marvel Legends height. Which is why we're going to bring in Marvel Legends John Favreau and G.I. Joe Classified Pimp Daddy Destro. John Favreau's still a little bit shorter. Uh, same with, with Destro. Santa's a big boy. Like, he's a little taller. And then we have cell shaded uh, Marvel Legends Spidey here, who's a little bit smaller in general, so he is smaller than Santa. But Santa cannot compare to the big beefy boy himself, the Build-A-Figure Armadillo, who just towers over everybody. Speaking of Marvel Legends, look at this box. You've got the Night of Your Nice logo, you've got the uh, snowflakes in that white blue, you've got some ugly Christmas sweater patterns on the sides, Big Bad Toy Store exclusive, you've got Not For Kids up here of ages 14 and up, you've got the Cyborg Santa up there on top, more barcodes and warnings and no babies allowed, and then you flip it around and here are all the other Santas with a little bio of the one that you bought, that classic mall. Sergeant, Krampus, and Pirate Santa. So yeah, definitely a Marvel Legends box. <laughs> All right, so overall I'm very happy with how this turned out. We waited about a year for the Santa Claus figures to show up, and it was kind of up in the air if they were going to get here in time for Christmas or not, like they originally were promised, but they did manage to do so. I will say the only thing I don't like about the Cyborg Santa is the fact that he didn't come with interchangeable hands. Now, I've tried to see if these ones are removable because I would assume it's the same body they should be, but I don't know if it's because the hands are soft or they're just in there really well, but I cannot get them out. So I don't know if you can swap them with the other Santa Claus figures or not, but if someone tries it, and figures it out please let me know in the comments below because i'm very curious because if that's the case that could make this figure even better i also am kind of sad that we didn't get a third head that is just the santa claus with the red eyes i guess in theory you could customize it um and obviously cost wise i get why we didn't get a third head but it would have been really cool to get one that had you know the full santa claus face then partially ripped off and then full terminator mode um but that's just my thoughts on it but let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are if this swayed you one way or the other if you were on the fence and of course make sure to stay at the end here to see all the photos I took also head over to Instagram Twitter and TikTok to see closer looks at all those photos as well and if you enjoyed this video please make sure to like and subscribe helps us out and also if it gets you more toy related content in your feed we've got the reviews on Mondays we've got let's poses on Tuesdays the live stream on Wednesdays and our podcast on Fridays but that's gonna be it for this video hopefully we'll see you next week same toy time same toy fair channel thank you for watching